Welcome back to the Brew Crew Podcast, everyone. This is episode 206. Things are getting spooky, but they're also getting chilly. Yes. This is the first. This is the first sweater weather pod. I've worn. I think I've worn a sweater this fall to the podcast, but never out of necessity. No, you Just like to turn on. Like, the, you like to cold. turn on the gun show. It was cold in my house. Yeah, I like to turn on the gun show. I like people to see. I'm gonna bring what this. We're working speaking with. of seeing, I like. To, I want people to see. I'm gonna bring this closer. Look at it. zoom in hands. Wow, look at that zoom. That was epic. In hands. Non-technical zoom. There's no technology involved in that zoom. Uh, also, thank uh, welcome to any new subscribers. We got a few. Yeah, we're uh, we're in the seventies. We're in the seventies. We have been for growing. three weeks, two for, weeks. For the most people weeks, for who sure. are used to us having consistently hundreds of thousands, we're not talking about seventy thousand. We're talking about seventies. I I'm convinced that we have in the thousands, but we recycle them. That's true. They come and go. That's exactly what we're doing. Um, and uh, we're we're doing some SEO. You know, we're we're. We're planning names a little bit better, and we're making sure that the people who get to our page uh, aren't getting there on some false pretense that maybe there'd be some activities happening that they weren't that they were looking for that they didn't get. It really hurts the channel if you're if you're into the, this episode this far. This is about where people usually stop listening. Really, who exactly. don't want to? Who don't want this podcast? Who are like, what is this shit about? And then they find out it's about beer, and they're like, oh, "This no. really isn't about buttholes." It's not about buttholes, or you know, funneling beer into your butthole, or uh, any other type of uh, activity like that. But please, just uh, listen on. Maybe you'll enjoy it. I think you will. I think everyone enjoys it who listens. Intermingled in today's episode, as promised it, during episode two hundred four, mm-hmm. we're gonna intermingle a hot sauce challenge that I was bequeathed for Christmas last year. And I'm just getting around to one of them. So I have a couple of chips out here. We have a jalapeno lime, which I noticed is best by February of 22. So then I have a also that came with the hot sauce uh-huh. challenge, but it's sealed. And then I also have a mini bag of nice. Doritos. So as we go through this, because I figured instead of rifling them, mm. we will enjoy while we consume beer. Because yeah. what's better than beer and chips? Um, that's about it. Yeah, it, I mean, it's up I mean, there. You know, beer and pizza. Maybe. So excuse my making noise. Just a little bit of noise. Oh, this, these bags are impossible. Fuck these. Especially after they expire. Use my teeth. Totally. The, the bags get worse as they expire. It says Best Buy. It doesn't say expired. Oh, Best Buy. So they're just not as good as they would have been otherwise. Maybe. We'll never know. So the intent here is to pour like a drip drop of, drip uh, drop. See, of hot sauce onto a, onto a Dorito or onto the jalapeno lime. Oh, those are still golden. Still golden. Okay. Golden in color, too. Level one is jalapeno. Mm-hmm. So... Which is nothing, basically. No, nope. Go ahead. Oh, these are... Oh, this is different. This is green oh. chili. Yep. That's number That's two. That's level two. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I can probably even just dab this on my fingertip. You could do it that way. Yeah. Simple. Jalapeno. Simple. It is... It nothing. is... It is jalapeno. I... I'm going to predict that I'm going to have no reservations going all the way through all eight levels here. Um, I like hot food, but these things tend to be very... This is not hot ones where they're actually amped up and I only have a lot of hot ones, hot sauces. Um, I feel like this is going to be pretty pedestrian. Do you have any guesses? I think um, maybe it will be a novelty, like... Hot for the novelty of it. Hot for the novelty of and it. And so it'll be like ridiculous. Oh, it'll be a gimmick. Yeah, gimmick. it'll be. It'll um, just be stupid hot. So what they call that is um like an extract. Just mm, that's yeah, all it's gonna be. It's just gonna be extract. Now I've been to some of these hot sauce stores. Mm-hmm. Like there's one in Gatlinburg, and um, surprising, surprisingly, they're all sellable. I go every year. I go to they're a not, hot sauce store. Which one? Um. It's probably the same chain, and um, because it's also in Wisconsin Dells. The problem is, a good hot sauce is fifteen to eighteen dollars a bottle. They probably are the same um, chain. What what the heck is it called? I'm gonna look it up. It's now called that... Hot 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 to Trot. Hot to Trot is that? Are you just pulling that out of your butt? No, it's not called that. But so, I did go, and uh, they, their hot sauces aren't that hot. There's some, maybe three or four. But uh, Pepper Palace. Pepper that's, Palace, yeah, that's the one in Gatlinburg too, yeah. I believe. So it, it, that's definitely a chain, mm-hmm. and um, 
as we tie this back into beer, what I wanted to go through is the the last nine days. So the second sauce we just did was green chili. Yeah. I don't feel too much of a heat no. from feet, heat difference. Not at all. But the Great American Beer Festival oh, yeah. just happened, uh, and uh, it was nine days. It's the first one they've done in a couple of years. Thanks, COVID. Yeah. So I just had a couple of questions. Yeah. And if you get it wrong, okay. we will go immediately up a next level. And I think we'll get through three or four of these before we get on to the beer. Mm-hmm. So what was the most popular beer by number of entries into the Great American Beer Festival? Which... Which type of beer was submitted? And uh, you're going to have to be a little more specific. Mm-hmm. So, like, you can't just say, I'll give you an example. You can't just say a lager. It's right. got to be like a black lager. A, an American IPA. American IPA, yes. Did you look at this article? <laughs> I had done a little research on the Great American Beer Fest, but that's what makes it more fun. Yes, excellent. Because so, I wanted to have some content for the podcast. So now I'm going to penalize you because now All right, I'm it's penalized. obvious... Uh, There's been some cheating, some collusion. What was the bronze awarded beer? That this much exact name. This this uh, much I don't know. I okay. I do I looked up which Ohio brewers might have won awards, and then I there was an article attached, so I did read some small facts like that. What was the most popular one? And there was what like 630 awards or something like that. Uh yeah, so many. Man, how do uh, they do it? How uh, do they do it? That is a question that I have. I wondered while reading. How do they do it? Over. Uh, it's just an organizational nightmare. Over oh, nine thousand nine hundred entries. Yeah, and that's that was the even bigger point. Was like, okay, you're awarding six hundred something. You have nine thousand entries. Obviously, Matt and John can't do that. No, like by ourselves, we could, we could try, but the awards are going to get real fucked up by the end. Over or oh. under a hundred sixty-eight uh, different type of beer styles. That's a really specific number. Over or under? I'm going to say over. Over is correct. 177. Damn. That's a lot of beer styles. And I remember seeing some. Mostly what I saw were the the commons. Like California commons? Like California commons. The pilsners. California pilsners. California IPAs. So this is a cayenne hot sauce. So we're getting up there. I bet. Yeah, that's all right. Jalapenos right around 3,000, cayenne, pepper, a tinier pepper right around typically 55 to 6,500 off the top of my head. Cayenne's one of my least favorite flavors of pepper. Really? I do like to taste the pepper flavor. And cayenne, eh, it's fine. Um, Chili's the worst flavor. Chili pepper. It's almost nothing, but also it has like a... Wait a second, I'm going to call it Gunpowder type. Um, green pepper. That, well, yeah... <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, that's chip, not <clears throat> not hot sauce. Uh, oh, chip, okay. Um, no, I meant what's caught in my throat, not the flavor that I'm talking. Green pepper, bell peppers are my least favorite. Yeah, I guess that, I guess that counts. I don't consider that bell pepper family in the, this category. In the chili family, if, if they are, then that's bullshit, and we should we should write the write the admin. Another two two facts, and we'll decipher this because there's oodles of content. Mm -hmm. 301 breweries. Wow. Out of the 2,100 breweries, so one in seven, brand new to the competition. Wow. So one in seven. So I I would say with maybe it was the excitement and people were being off and people were taking time to refine. Yeah, the the time delay, because some of those breweries are going to be three years old now. Right. And not have done it. Is it either people were excited to participate, or is it that craft beer is alive and well? Um, well, I believe craft beer is alive and well, and they're excited to participate. I think it's both, because uh, I just read something about how um, the seltzer market is uh, consistently going in a uh, downward trend. I keep buying so much salsa or seltzers. This one is Sriracha. This doesn't taste like the Sriracha you know and love. Hmm. No, it doesn't. There's a funk to it. There is a funk to it. This tastes like, this has a... It's got a vinegar. These are all pretty much vinegar vinegar based, which I I love. I love my vinegar based hot sauces. With the chip, I'm not sure if it's the chip. Mixing, you know, like that gastronomy type thing where the molecules form a different flavor but um it almost has a barbecue flavor to it 
I definitely can see that. With the with I don't know if it's the chip or the sauce, but this is the this is the halfway point. So and then the Not last bad. it's probably gonna get real bad though. <laughs> then the last one I wanted to go uh, go over before we get into our first beer. Um which was the most meddled category? And what I mean by this is or sorry, most what sorry, what state mm-hmm. took what state's brewery took home the most medals? Which state's brewery? I remember thinking it was w- w- something seemed fishy about this because of where the Great American thing. I don't know if it was this, the one brewery being from Colorado or if it was the most medals went to Colorado, but Colorado. So it was California. And oh, I'm it was with California. You. And the top one, 2,154 breweries, 300 first times. There's 7,000 beers, 170 styles. The most medaled brewery took just home four medals: mm. a gold, a silver, and two bronze. Now this is this is uh-huh. not to, uh, and this is North Park Beer out of San Diego. This is not to diminish their, but I would think that there's going to be like just a powerhouse that came through with like eight or nine. So mm-hmm. does this speak to like the specialization of like you know what you like? Well, I thought that I did think that. Okay, there's going to be. Some breweries that just do it right. And yep. I think that's the case with uh, some of your more popular uh, genres, like just your your standard IPAs, you know, your DIPAs, things like that. Mostly in the IPA categories. I think there's a couple brewers that they're just going to get it right all the time. And that was evident in some of the categories went to big brewers like Great Lakes. I When I looked at for Ohio Brewers. Great Lakes had won, I think, one or two. And Fatheads And they were won. Fatheads. And they were in categories that you'd almost expect. Yeah. Now, in the more experimental stuff, you I don't think you can have the production capacity that Great Lakes and Fatheads have and then and do um, experimental to the level of winning a, a gold medal. Like, you could do experimental, but it's probably not, unless you get lucky, it's probably not going to be... You know, winnable. Interesting that you say lucky. So this is what they always say about brewers is always write everything down. Yeah. Because the best brew that I ever had home brewed and consistent was what we call the jungle brew. Mm. It was just a little bit of this and a little bit Mm. of that. And thank goodness we wrote it down because then we tried to replicate it the next year and we were off just a little bit. It was good, but it wasn't as good. So either that's um, recency bias or the fact that even though we wrote it down. Yeah. We were just off. And it was just a jungle brew. It was a little, we would have never been able to replicate or even get close had we not written down all the ingredients. Mm-hmm. So always write down everything. Yeah, write it down. All right. So our first beer, unless you, there's beer topics that you want to approach. No, I was going to talk about the beer festival. Oh, that's hilarious. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, it's probably the, you know, the biggest event in the U.S. Yeah, so. it really is. All right. So I, I screwed up. We're not doing this beer. We're doing this beer second. As okay. I, this is why I take notes. So I will sheath these, and this is going to be cold. I still can't find Richard. So oh, really? Richard's gone? Yeah. I so, remember you saying that, but I thought maybe it was just kind of like a, so a the, fleeting the, passing. The, the, the missus said gone. that it was in a drawer, and I actually checked today. So anyways, this is a beer I bought specifically because of Did my, you bring it to 200, episode 200? I wonder if I should check I don't my think so. bar. But my, I just cleaned it, so I don't know. Didn't see it. Um, be the cooler. No, because it's not. Not got. I'm gonna check my. It's back good. Back. It's good. If you have a thought on where Richard is, let us know. Yeah, let, let us know. Your Send thoughts. pics to Matt of where you think Richard is. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, around the world. Uh, Get now, Richard, around the world. We have to be very deliberate. <laughs> don't send pictures of your Richard. Oh, see, Set, I was just yeah. giving them the option yeah. to just tell us where yeah. Richard is. Uh, well, you know, I'm going to be the one who's seeing the pictures. Okay. <laughs> so this is Prairie Artisan Ales. This yep. is Buntastic. Buntastic. And, we, and because we haven't had enough IPA or uh, Imperial Stouts, IPA Stouts, I decided to go with another Imperial Stout. We're going to be sharing this one, though, because people have to drive. Mm. Um, this rings in at 12.5%. Ooh. And uh, there's a lot of lot of fun flavors here that I bought specifically because I'm partnered with this guy. Oh wow, that's uh, a compliment. So here we go. Unless he bought them just specifically to it pours, aggravate me. Pours like absolute 
tar. Maybe it's the, how the light is refracting it. I see a little, like, purple. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> Maroon. A purple. reddish, though, right? Yeah, there's a red in there. Okay, I don't want to tell you the flavors. I want to see if you can identify it. Again, I bought it specifically for you. Okay. And you're all over the place when it comes to it. But I think, <laughs> I definitely think you have a sweet spot. Okay. It's not, I'll give you, it's not your household chemical font. <laughs> it's your sweet right. spot. So again, as he ruminates on this, Prairie Artisan Ales, Buntastic. It's an Imperial Stout, 12.5%. You can find out more from prairieales.com. Uh, they're, again, they're out of Oklahoma City. Uh, they're widely known and widely sought after. You don't think of Oklahoma being um, the purveyor of craft beers, but if you do... They're the oldest brewery in the state, and that comes with a caveat, and I'll go into a little bit. They had the best 21 age check I've ever seen. So it's 20, um, and JT will go into the art segment, but it's a whimsical character, and <laughs> it goes, huh, are, you, are you 21? And you go, yes. And it goes, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> oh, nice. It's, it's like a Hulk Hogan oh, whimsical um, character. Uh, their first beer brewed at the brewery, again, Asterix, was before... Um, uh, Oklahoma was even a state, and as you know, it was the 48th state, only Hawaii and Alaska um, gained statehood after that. But it was officially 1985 that they first brewed under their previous name, which was Krebs, the family name. So it's a fourth generation brewery where the great grandsons took over from you know um, the forefathers that were handed down before then. A lot of great information in there. Everything is with these whimsical characters that JT will go into for the Canner Boner segment. And now I hopefully have given you enough time to ruminate. What? It's what, tough. I, I haven't smelled it yet to see if it's easy or not. So it's tough. Brown sugar. Think buntastic. Bun bunnies. Buntastic. Bunnies. Yep. Bunnies. Uh, if you say one thing, it's an automatic win. If I say one thing with bunnies, with bunnies, <clears throat> you associate. What's your, first of all? What's your sweet spot? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I love chocolate. Okay, that's my sweet spot. I screwed up on this. This may not be as big of a sweet spot of yours then. It might be. This is is this, there is there marshmallow in here? This is challenging because the two things I think with bunnies, at least with like food, are, are chocolate bunnies and the. Um, Marshmallow ones. This is uh, this is not the home run I thought it would be. Again, I didn't taste it before I laid out this challenge. So you want me to go through what this is? No, I want to. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. Okay, yeah. Just go. Okay. Uh, Buntastic is an imperial <coughs> stout with cake mix, Ooh. carrot, and cake flavors. Ooh, so carrot, carrot cake. Okay. So carrot cake. Okay. okay. So I went with cake being quote your sweet spot. Mm. Um, I like it. That's all right. Uh, terrible. I will uh, refrain from talking the rest of this episode. I could see where the the carrot cake would be one of the things in it, but uh, it's it's uh, well, we'll talk about it. There's the Can Art Boner segment. We will talk about minute it. Minute sixteen thirty. Oh yeah, look at that Can Art. Nice. That's some good Can Art. I think Prairie is a lot like. 450. It's very regionalized. They get out a little bit more, but a lot of their stuff has a specific like price point where it just they sell a lot of singles. You are not going to find a lot of um, quads or six packs with them. Everything I've ever got from them has been a singleton. Wow, this is an interesting. This is interesting can art. Uh, Mango habanero is level five, by the way. Based on the <clears throat> name, it's interesting. So, Buntastic, the Cannon Burner segment brought to you by Chuggalo Mom Still, I believe. She's going to make it till the end of the year. No. Uh, yeah, she might, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I got some new ones. I got some new ones this weekend. Uh, so, there's two um, overweight bunnies in this, in this can. Um, obese. Obese bunnies. And one of them is the, the, what I assume to be the male. He has a mustache. Reading a, a book, uh, ears down, sitting in a recliner, a pink recliner, with slippers on, old school slippers, like 90s slippers, you know, the ones that you, they just have the front of your foot, but then they have like a back 
paddle for your you know heel, but that's it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, sweater. The, the slip-ons. The slip-ons, yeah. I don't like those. No, no pants. Very overweight. This this bunny. He's wearing also wearing glasses like the circular Benjamin Franklin type glasses. But actually, yeah, exactly. Spectacles. Uh, yeah, spectacles. And uh, he's reading a book while his uh, presumably wife, uh, is overweight as well, very, um, is in a um, leotard or a workout old eighties like workout outfit. Nice. Doing. See, this is why I don't even need to look at it because I you picture, can picture it. it. Doing leg lifts. There is a, a hair a hair band around the two ears of the female. Yeah. Uh, again, presumed to be. Uh, and then there's a bunch of like old. Uh, I don't know what you call that, like trickster, as seen on TV type workout stuff, like the ab rocker. Yeah, the ab rocker is uh, the one. Some I sort of seen. bands, uh, rubber, you know, elastic bands. And then a Nalgene bottle filled with uh, probably carrot juice. Remember Nalgene? Yeah. They were the unbreakable bottles, yet they came with like shitty plastic caps. I always wondered why that was. Anyway, make the Nalgene cap out of the Nalgene bottle. One of bottle. my favorite favorite stories, I think it was eight or nine, and, and uh, I could read a little bit. And uh, they, remember those unbreakable cones at the cash mm. register? Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's unbreakable. <laughs> Snap. And my mm. mom goes, I guess we'll be buying this too. Yeah. Have you ever seen the unrippable paper? That no. they pass around at work, that, you know, previously where I worked. Um, yeah, it's weird. You can't rip it. I've tried. Interesting. And it feels like paper. But I'm pretty sure it's plastic, which is horrible. Uh, and there's also a pull-up bar by the bathroom. Uh, in the bathroom, um, there doesn't seem to be a toilet cover, but it looks like the seat's down, so that's good. There's a treadmill with clothes hung, hung over it. Um, also, an empty plate with a fork and a full cake, full bunch cake, and one of those old ab uh, wheel things that you ab know, wheels. Yep. Yeah, ab wheel. Man, there's all kinds. Those of Those are on. those are. If you go all the way down, and we do those when we deploy. We have an ab wheel that we deploy yeah. with. Those are insane. I used to, I use them when I work out. But, wow. You know, Got to be working out for that. Yeah, those things are fun. Uh, and then the TV is tuned to a workout video, probably Richard Simmons. Richard Bunny Emmons? No, it didn't. No, it's it didn't not a bunny. In this case, it's a, it's, it looks like a human. Didn't come Didn't come organic. Oh, yeah. So, uh, also, it, what's interesting, the carpet and the walls are the same color, which you don't see very often. The carpet matches the drapes? I don't know. If, there's no drapes in this one, but okay. I, I assume. I assume that's the case. Um, so, an interesting, interesting uh, can art. That's the can art runner segment brought to you by Chug Little Mom. Thanks, Mom. And uh, on to the beer. So I can taste the carrot cake now. I think but when you're when you go into it blind, um, yeah, it, it definitely plays with the mind a little bit. Now I could taste what they what they're calling carrot cake. You see that rim that it leaves on the the glass yeah, too. It's, yeah, isn't that there, weird? there's a lot of um, uh, four not not foreign objects. Um, Floaters, no. Um, yeah, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about like, material. Uh, um, geez, particulates? Yeah, particulates. Yeah. That's got to be the cake mix, right? I guess. Oh, it, do you think they legit put like powdered cake mix in here? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because Man, you can like see it. like drinking cake mix, huh? <laughs> you can see it roll down. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Let's see that. Oh yeah, you can actually. There is it is thick. That was a good mid midwestern. Oh yeah, by the way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> um, that I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, so I, orig- I originally was was kind of getting brown sugar, um, and then I couldn't really pinpoint any of the other things. But now it makes sense. Carrots. There's probably carrot juice in here. Um, carrots and brown sugar are closely related. I mean, like if you like ever make cake. glazed carrots. Oh, no, I never did. Oh, glazed, glazed carrots. carrots yeah, somebody, I've had that's, them. That's brown sugar. Probably in the Navy. That's the so that seems like an easy thing to make. Yeah, I've, I've never done it. But, the uh, Navy doesn't make anything complicated. <laughs> um, if you can grill it or put it in a pot and leave it there for an hour, those are about the only two things you're going to get. Two types of cooking. Um... But it does have a carroty, um, carroty. 
Carradine. David that's, Carradine. That's, that's the guy who was in Kill da- Bill, right? Yeah, David Carradine. Yeah, the, Carradine is the um, sixth C when you're buying a diamond. Yeah, Carradine. 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 Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know that the you know how when you're learning a programming language, there's all these sample data sets. I don't know if you know that. Or oh, not. I do. Well. Diamond, the diamond data set is one of the most popular ones. Bleep, bop, bloop. Yeah. I'm coding right now. Carrot versus like purity or, and all that other stuff. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it's good stuff. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> I have no, I have no follow up. Uh, I was giving you the opportunity because it sounded like it was an impregnated pause. There, like there's just nothing more there. I okay. mean, you, if do you want to learn the code, you should use the diamonds data set, uh, and you'll be fine. You'll you'll have everything yeah. you need to do plots, to do machine learning, anything you want. It's it's all there. Quantitative variables, qualitative variables. That, that's what I've always said. That's what you need, and that data set has it. Tomorrow I'm handing in my master's thesis, and it's both qualitative and quantitative. I'm really excited for you. I'm I'm excited. God, that's awesome. I love when a, when a project is. Are you a word expert? This is going to be a little inside pool. Are you? I'm word? not, but okay. I can. I guess. I, I don't know how to. Um, oh, Word, Microsoft Word. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, I know some things. Yeah, it's not letting me make a final page break to put a bibliographic heading on my navigation pane. It's I've not tried, letting you. I've tried. That's so weird. Everything. Yeah, so I'm I've sure you tried everything. I would try. Page break. Yeah. Wow. But anyways, inside pool. What what are your thoughts about this cake mix? Yeah, I'm trying to beer? I'm trying to assign a, sc- a score to this beer. I think that this beer is unique, and its uniqueness gives it a uh, a bump because it's unique, good, not unique, bad, which we've had on this you know Wild Ohio, for example. Instead of a bump, would you say maybe a hop? Maybe a hop. Maybe it a gives hop. a little hop. Gives it well. Give it a little. Uh, yeah. Hip hop. Hop has other meanings though in beer, uh, and I, you know, Touché. I don't know if you want to use that with scores. Um, maybe a little bounce, even better. We'll bounce in the score in the positive direction. Um, I, th- but I do think that this beer has kind of it, it has kind of like um, as far as uh, like if this was a signal, it, it's kind of at a at a point where it's flat, and there are are points in its flavor profile where it spikes but it largely is what you'd call i I hate to say use this term it's the only one i can think of like ho-hum but not not like 2.5 ho-hum this is like it has flavor but it's muted it's a it could be amped up it's totally unique so for that i'm at a four on this beer um I'm not sure how it would be better. I think the cake mix doesn't come through in taste. It definitely comes through in the in the body in, in the, the presentation. Body. Definitely in the presentation. Uh, not sure it comes through in the flavor. I'm not sure how you would would amp that up though. Interesting. I want to preface this with saying the mango habanero so far is my favorite. Ha- oh, I haven't had that it, yet. It's fantastic. Have you uh, have you ever ha- had Market Day? Do you know Market Day? No. Market Day is like a. Uh, food thing that's sold in schools. Yeah. And their carrot cake was the shit. The frosting was excellent. That's the best part. Interesting. Yeah, carrot cake is really hard uh, to screw up. Like, carrot cake is pretty consistent. Like, there's is there amazing carrot cake? Uh, you know, carrot cake is all pretty good. It's a better cake than, you know, most cakes. Better cake than most cakes. I'd agree. Like, you know, just... You know, I'd rather have carrot cake than chocolate cake. Its uniqueness sets it apart. Yeah. You're not going to find it anywhere else. So off the top rope, I give this a, a, a 375. GT covered most of it. There just seems something off about the carrot. Like, mm-hmm. it just... I don't know if it doesn't translate well. This is probably the first carrot-inspired beer I've had. And this is... If you're mm-hmm. going to go carrot-inspired beer, you're probably going to go carrot cake. Um, I like the gimmick of putting in cake mix. That seems like a bold choice. Uh, the only way it paid off here was just, you know, us swirling it around the glass. Mm-hmm. Had both of us been drinking individually in the brown or uh, mostly opaque bottle, uh, we probably wouldn't have noticed that gimmick. I'm sure it's something to carry the flavors. Mm-hmm. It's just the flavor, there's just that it that gear is missing um, where it yeah. almost like tastes chemical or not actual like carrot puree and carrots are 
super cheap, so I don't know what the decision was I made love or carrots. what in the again, it's the first carrot beer I've had. So what in the in the malt or uh, the selection there or that process that kind of neutered or altered that expected carrot taste? Uh, they took a gimmick though and they ran with it. Mm-hmm. And in the world of dessert beers and especially dessert stouts, again this is the first carrot cake, and carrot cake is a pretty uh, common dessert. So again, all of that, all glowing things, complimentary. It just. Uh, Fell off in the execution. That's why off the top rope again. I feel pretty comfortable at a three seven five. Yeah. Um, but the alcohol's hidden. I felt I didn't address that. Twelve twelve point five. Yeah, we're 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 getting robusty with our uh, with our. You can take it either. I just wanted to keep it chill. Yeah, I appreciate that. Bit. Very very cool. Um, so, anyways. Prairie, that was the fourth time we've done on the uh, the podcast. Again, for being out of Oklahoma, and that's the only brewery we've had out of uh, Oklahoma, it's nice to get um, a brewer that really puts a lot of thought and just mm-hmm. isn't churning out like the same. I, that's not to say IPA, but, you know, something with a little bit of spice or variety. Okay, what can we do that's different? Yeah. Cake batter. Cake batter. Carrots. Awesome. So bringing it a little bit closer to home, or at least where we live right now, this is uh, Masthead. Mm-hmm. Um, have we done Masthead or Prairie Artists and Ales more times on this podcast, JT? Uh, I'm going to say Prairie. We have. So that was our fourth Prairie. This mm-hmm. is our third Masthead. Wow. Prairie. So this is, let's go with the crack. Masthead getting is, around. This is a dipper. This is a dipper. Oh, prime. Oh, so oh. prime. Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, and perfect um, crack. Okay. So this is self mummification. Great name. It's a dipa. Comes in eight point five. A very good sweet spot for dippas. Eight point five to nine point five. Um, you can find out more from Masthead Brewing Co. 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 Again, they're out of Cleveland or the new. Cleveland area. Um, their website, uh, and maybe I've talked about this before. It's very professional, very refined. It hits on. They have a three hundred seat tap room. Um, they're known for their juicy Niepas and their Neapolitan pizza. Oh, that's good. So that's ne- a, that's, that's a good beer, pairing. Neapolitan. What's your favorite pizza? Favorite type? Oh, okay. Margarita? No. Fuck. Oh, I fucking love margarita pizza. Uh, so good. If crispy, it's gotta be. If crispy. it wasn't for my old decrepit body and feeling guilty. It's thick. The thicker, the better. Really? But uh, oh, de- that surprises me. God, Detroit style is up there. We, oh man, that surprises the, me even more. We we go through this a lot, but again, Do I don't. We, I don't think or, I don't order it that much because I feel that food guilt. Oh yeah, Detroit style pizza will put like six pounds on you in one night. Ne- ne- like Neapolitan pizza is great with a heavier beer, like an IPA, mm-hmm. because you have more for both. Sure. You 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 can hit that. Um, that dopamine center in your brain. Neapolitan's like, going to be like your standard bar pizza, right? Am I am I getting this wrong? That's kind of like your. St- it's not thin crust. It's not thick crust. It's just crust. Yeah, there there's not there's not a lot of heft to it. Okay. Um, but like you know, this last Friday I was like, hey, should we order pizza or you know? So we made a DiGiorno and we made a Jacks, but like Jacks goes over so well that you know. You can't get a motherfucking sausage pizza in this state, by the way. Just a sausage pizza. Yeah, you can. Cousin Vinny's. No, no, no. I'm saying a frozen pizza. Oh, frozen. I just want a frozen sausage pizza. It's sausage and pepperoni. No one else eats pepperoni. So I end up having to rearrange the pizza. I just want a fucking sausage pizza. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Um, Go to Chicago. So I went to learn more about Masthead Brewing. So I went to their About Us. Guess what it said, JT? Uh, they said that... Uh, they're all about it. <laughs> check back for updates. Oh, what, so I, when I check, was that post? So I, I, I checked that yesterday. So I checked it today uh, <laughs> in preparation for this. It still says yeah. check for I'm updates. Have to wait a little longer. So so what I did was I unscrewed. Oh, okay. I'm glad I'm glad you're I'm, I'm glad you're forcing you it because now now we're getting into the we're getting into the danger this, zone. This one's gonna be habanero or habanero habanero depending on how. Uh, how much uh, Latin flavor you have in your blood? I'm gonna have all the Latin flavor by the end of this. I know the last one's ghost pepper. Yeah, I saw. I did look at the last one. And by and by the way, if it's not hot enough, I do have a random bag of 
peppers. Oops, that's going to be a lot. Yep. I do have a random bag upstairs of peppers, so we could do a pepper challenge. Um, there's habaneros, um, ghost, I'm and good. scorpion peppers. All fresh, in there. all fresh, right? Um, a week old. I'm, I'm just, not. I'm not about that garden picked pepper. Those will fuck your world up real good if you eat them plain. You eat them plain, or do you put them in things? No, I mean I would obviously dry it, but for you, I'd what's bring your it out. intent with these ones? They're just sitting there drying right now. Oh, okay. So I would, for you though, I'd bring it down I'm and good. let you do whatever you want. To. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you want to rub your eyes or do whatever. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll rub my eyes with them. That'll be good. Good drive home. That's probably there should be a like there's a DUI and then there should be like a driving with peppers in your eyes. Uh, license. <laughs> Excuse That's the title of the episode. About driving with peppers in your eyes. Probably. I yeah. don't know. <clears throat> no. Uh, do you want me to add the pro- driving with peppers in your eyes? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Not that. Not that last part. Uh, although it'd be pretty funny. It, one, you have to listen to the episode to get it. I I, I like that we uh, we we take it you know from your eyes. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's the winner. It's going to be hard to usurp that. Yeah. Um, so, again, no, I'm good. Uh, fresh. There's been fresh jalapenos that fucked me up. Like, just with it, this, it's how all, hot they are. It's, it's, it's all the seeds. Yeah, it's the seeds. Yeah. Um, but, so, with with the website, if you go to mastheadbrewingco.com, and I want to talk about something. Just Co.com? Or co. .co? No. Mastheadbrewingco. Oh, oh well, there C-O. is a dot .co. Yep, there is. For some website. But this is .com. This is .com. And I want, I implore you to go there, but maybe check later for updates. I implore you as well. Um, Later, yeah. The fun thing is, so last week with our uh, our Skype episode, which was a lot of fun, Illuminated actually liked it. I saw that. Did you see that? They didn't listen. No, they didn't. Because we were... Uh, we were veiled in our description and the fact, you know, that we alluded to one brewer that everyone complained about their beer and mm-hmm. say that they didn't have enough. I would like to think that they thought the joke was cheeky. Yeah. Whoever is in front of charge of their social media. I would like to I would think- I would hope to think that their social media content or whoever is liking things <sighs> is aware of what everyone is saying. But they're also probably the ones that are commenting on untapped. I would like to think that they listen. And they thought that our review was unbiased and reasonable. Uh, even though we do have an affinity for Illuminated. Uh, I like the, I like we the beer. Don't, we don't sugarcoat our reviews uh, because it, we like some, some brewery. No. Uh, so it was honest. It was and they know it was disaster. honest because they've been answering shitty untapped reviews for months. And I also like to think that maybe somewhere deep inside <laughs> they think that... We're worth brewing another two levies for. That's all I'm saying. Maybe there'll be a, a brew crew ex- exclusive two levies. I, I'm not saying there is. That's not a that's not a reveal or anything. That's just I, total speculation. I would pay forty or fifty dollars a bottle for two levies. Holy shit! It, I would I mean, also it, pay that just because I need to have one so I could join the club. It's, I, and I would buy multiple bottles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm glad that we went with quantity, you know, because originally I was like, oh, two, then one. The reason I chose the Prairie Artisan Nails is I didn't want the IPA to destroy the cake batter. Okay. So the the next one as we're prepping, and uh, this is a 16-ounce can. I forgot to say it came 16-ounce can, 8.5. Um, so we're going to – I'm going to let that one ruminate a little bit, and I'm going to go with the Chipotle, which was odd because all the Chipotle is is a smoked jalapeno – but it's a level seven, so they've got to add something to this. Well, level seven for Chipotle, yeah. Chipotle should be underneath Habanero, I think. Right. So that's crazy. I've spun the can. You've seen it now. There's not much can There's on here. Not a here. lot. There is a. It has a purple. Uh, tint to the background, and within that, there's an, like a darker purple hop kind of floating around in the back and that um in my mind registered berry um immediately and when i read the description it also includes berry so it makes sense that this would be the theme uh of the can that's really the can art boner segment brought to you by chuggle little mama there's really not much (laughs) you nailed every one thing that we talk talk about Um, in this can what are your thoughts on cleveland you like cleveland you've been there 
I still haven't been there. Oh I, man, we gotta go. This um, a week ago Monday, when we recorded last Monday, Columbus Day was my 11th anniversary of living in the state. Still haven't been to Cleveland, and I'm still like when I go to the Carriage House or I go to JT's house, his seventh or eighth house um, that he's lived in in just this area. I still question myself on what fourth. What what street to turn left on once I get down into the Spaghetti Junction? Mm. And I'm right 50% of the time. You come from Far Hills? No, if I'm going down 35. Oh, 35. And I'm yeah. going down... There's if, a lot of Spaghetti If, if it's there. Jefferson or Maine. And 50% yeah, Maine. Of, 50% of the time I choose Jefferson. And I'm yeah, choose off. Maine. Choose Maine. That that little area you're talking about, I always get it wrong as well. I, I hate because it. Because there's one road that you can't turn left on other than like... In the middle of the night, and I hate it, uh, and I always accidentally turn that way. Um, but I love Cleveland. I think Cleveland. I, I don't know. I'm I'm a person that I say the things I think about Cleveland, and people look at me like I'm an idiot. Um, I've enjoyed myself every time I've been there. Um, they have passionate passionate Browns fans, but that doesn't make the city bad. That makes it that gives it character. There's passionate Eagles fans, and let's face it, the Eagles fucking suck. Uh, but they're the only undefeated team in the league. Hey, I'm just saying. All right. Oh, by the way, those orange helmets last last uh, Thursday, f- absolute fire. Those are th- the sharpest looking helmet right now in the NFL. Interesting. I did not watch uh, that that game. Um, I don't have Amazon Prime. Uh, I'm one of few people I know that don't have. I Amazon didn't watch Prime. the game either, but they they because I was sleeping. They. Mm. Spoiled like the the uniform. Change. I didn't even look and at the uniforms. A lot of people I knew just were betting on the Bears just because because of the uniform. helmets. Yeah. yeah. So the guy who was working on our, the carriage house, he this morning had told me he thought the Bengals were playing last Thursday and was confused and then realized it was the Bears and that makes sense to me because it was orange. Um, the Bears are not very good. So we don't need to talk about that. Yeah, uh, both of our football teams are very. But good. I will say that, yeah, okay. I didn't know Philly was uh, undefeated. I don't follow football that Last closely. Team in the NFL. But the, I did pick the Phillies to win the World Series, and so far that's looking very. Good. When did you pick them? Like at the beginning of the playoffs. Okay. The beginning of the playoffs. not not at the beginning of the season. No way. I picked the White Sox, and I was wrong. Like everyone was wrong about the White Sox. They fucking sucked. What a topsy turvy! And I know this is going to be. Uh, all the favorite money, uh, Vegas is raking it in. Mm-hmm. And now fucking haters come alive. Hey, oh, they haters did nothing, like they did nothing, out games. They did nothing with hater. Beat and the, now this guy's third save. I'm so glad. I'm so glad, though. I, who isn't happy that they beat the Dodgers? What's funny about... I've been watching the playoffs. I love baseball. And uh, it's the, been such a... You can't... No one can hate if you love the game. You can't. This hate is a this. great playoffs. This is an amazing. San Diego playoffs. had a jam-packed stadium before the game started. They're playing the Dodgers, who don't fill their stadium even in the playoffs until like the fourth or fifth inning. It always has bothered me why people in LA don't fuck go to you, the game John, for the Dodger first dogs. couple innings. Uh, San Diego, who I've been to every, I've been to Petco Park a few times. It's it's probably my second favorite stadium in the country. Um, never full, ever. But man, they were full, and it was just awesome to see. Um, and there's an aerial view of the last out that Hater threw, uh, and the stadium just goes ballistic. You can hear it from so far away. It's a lot of fun. Um, not as great as Wrigley, but second. And uh, the, the thing with both of those cities and why their sports fan bases suck no one's from those places right everyone's a transient yeah. or an implant um i'm gonna apologize to san diego a little bit because there's a lot more people no one's from los angeles no one's from los angeles but there yeah. are a lot of san diego natives. yeah there's uh san san diego the problem that i i found with sports fandom in california is that california they're very um fair weather. appearance obsessed yeah and the, the one difference that I noticed about the Midwest is that there's, okay, there's high culture, high whatever, fashion, where people wear name brands and they wear designer clothes. But there's also this subculture of fashion that is strictly about wearing sports apparel of your team in the Midwest. Hell yeah. And it's like, 
recognize people are cool with it they'll like you know give you a little point at the street hey nice shirt i like that blackhawk sweater or, hey that's a cool you know whatever milwaukee brewers thing uh but in in california that is not the case people do not almost across the board wear sports gear other than maybe a saturday and a sunday interesting it is just not a thing so there's just not much conversation around sports there's not like when you see people in the streets in chicago and you're wearing like two people wearing cup sets they pass each other it's kind of like a hey i see you kind of thing that doesn't happen in california there's just no camaraderie there um but th- but it's nice to see it's nice to see in san diego uh and i'm glad to see the padres make it funny enough without tatis sports related and question for blow um the uh question of the podcast is pittsburgh a part of the midwest is pittsburgh a part of the i'm gonna say i saw it three what do you to- say i saw it three times this weekend are you I, gonna I, provide an answer absolutely no no i'm gonna say it's a mid-atlantic based on culture yes <sighs> pittsburgh midwest is too big i don't it, it needs not to be, philly it needs to be Pittsburgh, more, yes. It needs it's be, the Polish population. It needs to be more inclusive. It's so I Midwest. like I like Pittsburgh, but I love uh, Pittsburgh. I like weird I like cities that most people shit on. Uh, Pittsburgh is really No, really fucking fun. blue collar because that's where you're going to get the divey bars. Like yeah. the places that you and I feel comfortable. Like I yeah. I want to go somewhere in order and that's why you know one of my favorite websites right now, um, Wisconsin Dive Bar Reviews or he does TikTok and uh, Facebook mm-hmm. videos. He does one minute videos of all of these, you know, and he goes and orders, you know, the soup of the du, soup du jour or soup the sandwich du jour. du jour, and then orders a bush light. He's not going in there and like, and we're a craft beer podcast, but we can get down, you know, with with the cheap stuff too. And uh, again, I love discovering those types of bars, like you know, like tanks, mm-hmm. um, or uh, KT, or just a bunch of like forty yeah. bars I can hit yeah. back yeah. home or whatever. Just but. awesome. The one thing Pittsburgh got wrong was Permonte Brothers. That's okay. But here, you did you eat at the original? One? Yeah, yeah. We went to the original, it and needs to be wet. I was yeah, I, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't even need to say more. Need and more. that's coming from someone who doesn't like condiments. I you, you you in particular? No, no, no. I like condiments. I don't like ketchup. You do like condiments? Yeah. Oh, I, okay. I'm, like I'm romul- mistaken. Like, uh, romulades and stuff like that. Oh, by the way, I brought Those it. sandwiches are dry. That's yeah. It, it, Period. You're putting on dry after dry. The, mm-hmm. That coleslaw needs to have like a soppiness to mm-hmm. it to break everything up. Anywho. <laughs> yeah. Thoughts? Because uh, we, so Cleveland's got two hot great, sauces. Uh, and I think they're going to beat the Yankees, but that doesn't make any matter. Uh, more people don't care. Self-mummifications. Nice, perfect timing. On the October uh, beer, uh, we've decorated our yard. Things are getting spooky out there. I love Halloween. I think that Halloween decorations uh, it, per dollar spent in America will surpass Christmas by 2030. Uh, I think it's going to be just an enormous event in the United States. Interesting. I the the that street that you drive up, by the way, they have a twenty. True. They have a twenty-foot skeleton. We we've been we've been waiting for the skeleton to be available, and every year we seem to miss the sale. <sighs> they sell out instantly. It's massive. They sell out instantly. There's two people in our neighborhood that have it. Uh, I would also like one, and I would like to use that again for Christmas. I want to get it for Halloween. Keep use it, it up for Christmas. Put a hat on it. <clears throat> Do your um, lights and everything. I want, yeah. Um, I would like it to lean over, like a like a bush, like as if it's going to grab a child, because we live right across the street from a school. So okay. it'd be really funny to scare the kids. Yeah. Um, I'm, for a month. It that elicits a certain uh, mental imagery. There's this, you know, where it comes. Yeah, where it's like, this, yeah, it's like, it's um, like, you know, a movie, some sort of movie. Um, Ghostbusters, maybe I don't know. Uh, well, I will say I'm, have we had Idaho seven? Yes. We yes, have? We have, yeah. we have. Okay. So we've had all the, the hops on here then. I couldn't remember Idaho seven. Um, four different hops. Cashmere, Idaho seven, Mosaic, and Centennial. I do think that there is a citrus, citrusness about this. There's a citrusosity. There's a citrosity. Citrosity. Uh, about this beer. 
and it is um, the it is a redeeming quality. I don't think the spear is bad. I th I think that it's average, but with um, I I don't even this can't really be part of my score because I don't think it's fair. But if you don't know, if you haven't had as many you know four hundred something beers that we've had on this podcast and some that haven't been on the podcast. I'm not sure you'd pick these flavors out, but there's a citrus flavor here. I'm not sure about the berry flavor that they describe. Um, but there's some things that elevate this above your typical IPA, your typical DIPA. Um, yeah. It's, it's actually uh, very uh, approachable. It's not... It doesn't have that West Coast dank that um, makes, in my opinion, I don't, Matt, you like them. It doesn't make it um, bitter to the point of like I can have one of these. You can have multiples of these. This this almost, it kind of leans towards haze. Uh, I like this beer, but I will never ever remember it. You ask me in two weeks about this beer, and I will absolutely forget I had it. Um, I'm at a three seven five on the spear. It's it's definitely good. They did a good job. It's just not. I mean, come on, it's a, it's a dip up. What are you gonna do about that? So this beer is aggressively hopped and it's high in alkaline. So it just it has that drying, um, empty characteristic where it just dries out the palate. Empty but that, characteristic. But, I like that. But that makes you drink more. Yeah. It doesn't have like that lingering citrus or anything, and that's because it's the the aggressive hop yeah. profile i don't think it says dry it's 100 ibus so that yeah. should give you just the um you know the characteristic of where it's coming at for that the best part about this is its drinkability you could have multiple of these and i'm glad you're getting to that one because we've got one well i got the chipotle this. that's the that's the chipotle that's, so there's that's one more after this port. yeah it's the okay. it's the ghost pepper i'm not i'm we're gonna do it together i talked for a while um so oh, that's the, really tasty. Yeah, but it's not. That's not level seven heat. No. You know what I'm saying? The, and this so is, far no. This this is where like this. I think every, they're mixed. Everything here is six and seven should switch. Yeah, disappointing. Um, but with this, I could have a couple of these coming in at eight point five. It just it's not the juicy satiating, but like I have a couple of. Uh, Events coming up in the next couple of months. This is one where I would sit down with a four pack and I would share this with a friend. Yeah. A two and two, and then we would be like, I pick one, you pick one, I pick one, you pick one. This this is a perfectly fine beer. It's never going to be in the upper tier, mm -hmm. but you're going to be fooled by my score off the top rope, a four point five, because it is so that drinkability is there at an eight point five. It is a drink. Yeah, it is drinkable. I agree. So I just I just wish that alkaline content a little bit would go down. I think your score is justified. So I I dig it. It's it's gonna take a lot for like a standard ho hum IPA and the berry. I would have never guessed the berry. You know I, sh I should yeah, I can right away. I would have I would have never guessed that. But there can be a lot of good IPAs. There can only be a few great IPAs. Mm -hmm. Like if you see this in the store and it's next to. Pseudo Sue, and it's next. To oh, yeah, a few there's other IPAs that you like. Are you gonna choose this one? No, yeah, so I mean, I, your score is justified, but I just don't think it, it stands above, yeah. And all of those, like, we should do you know, we've done a lot of blind taste tests with cheap stuff. We should do a blind taste test with like some, oh, yeah, Oof. <laughs> get get after it there, getting after it. Okay, I so got, I, I'll, I'll, I'll be ready when pieces. This is Let's this, this it, is gonna be great audio you ready? when both of us three, two, one. Well, this is ghost pepper. I got it right on my mouth, too. Like right on my lips. Well, that's good. We're to get hurt. it in your mouth and not... No, like on my mouth. Oh. No, rub your eye. There's a difference between on and in. <clears throat> Quarter block, too, probably. This is more syrupy, so if you saw me aggressively shaking this bottle... It's definitely the hottest of them. Yeah, but it's But, so I, I mean, definitely... I have... I it's have, so it's so muted. I've had breakfasts that were hotter than this. I think that horseradish you gave us was hotter than this. It's interesting. I'm glad I'm I'm glad we did it. It's unfortunate 
Like, oh, no, it's, it's good. I'm yeah. going to buy the hot ones, like, if I go upstairs because I have, um, oh, what's the asshole one? Um, I don't want that. The hot ones? <laughs> asshole Challenge. one? No, no, no. Um, <laughs> it's um, Rocket. Um, da Bomb. Da Bomb hot sauce. They haven't changed it. It's not the hottest. It's not the second hottest. It's the third. Okay. And um, this has got a good persistence to it. This does have a persistence. I'm salivating a lot. Um, I feel like I'm a drool. But that to bomb, we should do it right now. Um, that sounds hot. Um, it's not the hottest, though, that they ever do. But it's hot. It's spicy. It's 400,000, I think. Okay, that's pretty hot. I like how this one lingers. It's a pleasant linger. It's definitely there, yeah. Um, What's the Scoville on this? It's well, ghost pepper is over a million. This is not a million because the syrup and everything cuts it down. Mm -hmm. It's not pure extract though, so get out of here with your gimmick. See, like, look at that sep. Like, the, yeah. these are already beginning to separate a little bit, which is good. I'm glad that I opened these up. You know, I've got a hot sauce cabinet. That was cool. And again, I like uh, I like uh, drinking drinking beer and hot food. So, yeah. um, with that. We're starting to transition, so I think I'm over my Oktoberfest stuff. I think I'm over it. Okay. I think I'm over my pumpkin beers. Yeah. So as the you know the leaves are beginning to fall, what other types of beers are you looking out for? Well, I'm always looking for a good sour and a hazy. Uh, Have you been to Patch recently? No. My flavors, my uh, opinions don't change based on season. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm with you there. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd like to get into um, Oktoberfests, but I just don't. Excellent. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Carillon, I probably, if I go to Carillon, I'll drink whatever the du jour is, you know, flavor yeah. du jour. Still haven't been there. Oh my god! I haven't been to Southern. Look, you, n let's go to Carillon. We should definitely go. I uh, we we do we do have an outing coming up. Uh, we did decide Veterans Day, right? Veterans mm -hmm. Day. Uh, we will be out and about making um, smart decisions about dumb <laughs> things. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be an expensive day for everyone we'll in, involved, um, because that will be the Advent calendar, correct? Oh, is that the day for the advent calendar? I, it's it's the day that we have that makes available. Makes sense. Yeah, it is the day we have available. I wasn't sure if we were gonna. Uh, Don't say that we weren't gonna do one. Trounce we about town. Oh, I thought. Uh, but the advent calendar actually makes sense that day. We we do need to do it. We got we, we have to we got to get that because I let's uh, do that. I've got a couple. I gotta I gotta bring back home the dumb the dumb purchase, and I won't do this. And this is this is a hot take. I have it on top of my fridge right now. I'm not going to put that stupid cover over it. Oh, you're not? No. Nope. It mm -hmm. just, it just, it fucks up, like, in my fridge. Like, I have a beer fridge. Yeah. And it's just to pull it out every time. No. I keep it. It's still up there. You can see it. JT, uh, top of the yeah, fridge, back it. corner. I see it. I'll okay, witness. I'll, I'm I'm witness gonna give, to it. I'm going to give it to somebody else. I I'm gonna was okay with the cover. Bequeath it. And, um... I don't... Uh, the gentleman who makes the cover... Uh, seemed very appreciative, so I feel like giving him my business. Here. So, so you, so you threw. Your, I don't know yours who out. you. I don't know who you went through. Katie got, got mine. Yeah. So um, I didn't buy. My, well, I bought it through uh, Chuggalo Aaron, who's not mm -hmm. a Chuggalo. I like saying that each time. He's not a Chuggalo. No, he doesn't listen. It's okay. But that's he coming also up. doesn't review the beers. I am. Yeah. He I, also doesn't like sour, sours, <laughs> which I disagree. I, I am stupid excited. I am salivating more thinking about that than I am salivating. Because I'm of salivating this. because of this uh, ghost it, pepper. It's got a pepper. It's still there. It's still there. Not as strong as it was. I've, I've there. got some amazing hot sauces. I want to impart on you. Yeah. Great immediate burst. Done in. I like that. Done in. That's you know, Forty-five seconds. My freshman son is. Um, he's exploring the hot sauces now. So um, he tried the the. Horseradish that you gave us, and he talks about that still. What I, I I'm wondering what I've got horseradish. I don't remember, but upstairs. we did we did um, uh, the skewer pot thing. What is that? Uh, a fondue. Fondue. Okay. We came over for fondue. No, no, no. Um, you put you horseradish guys came on over for racklet. 
Rackle. And I had a Rackle. Rackle. Yeah, and I had a Silver Springs. Okay, I remember. Uh, I had a Silver Springs, very local for uh, Eau Claire, Wisconsin, um, uh, horseradish sauce. Mm. Oh, okay. I'll get you. I'll get you. Some, if he likes horseradish, I'll, I'll get you. I don't know that he likes put it. Put some tang in your wagon. But he talks about it. I, Which means you've I, made an impression. I like, well, I like uh, making an impression. Always make an impression. Good, bad, or indifferent. Always make an impression. Boston. Well, not bad. Don't make a bad impression. Well, no, but, you know, then then that way you know. Yeah. But outside of that, I've, I've got nothing else. I think I was, I was, I was fired up. Today was 11 out of 10. I've had, yeah. a, I, I had a, I've had, I've had a bunch of sixes lately. I was so excited for today and I feel like I was excited for 11 out of 10. I feel like I gave a seven out of 10, but I hope it comes off as a 14 out of 10. Oh no, this was great. This was great. It, it, it'll come it was off. busy. It was it'll busy. come off above 10. Uh, Maybe a 13.7625 repeating <laughs> out of 10. Yeah. Repeating. Yeah. Yeah. A little line. Driving with peppers in your eyes. Driving with <laughs> peppers in your eyes. We got so many looks because of the, we put the butthole in your title. Oh, yeah. And subscribers. We got new subscribers. And Hayden Pantieri. Uh, we yeah, just, remember that one? We just got to be... We got There's some algorithm. And we're going to crack it. Giselle, she's popular right now. Yeah. Uh, what other people are popular? Giselle Auction. Giselle Eilish. Husband. Eilish. Billy Eilish. She's popular. I saw somebody... Did you see the commentator that called the pitcher Justin Bieber? No. Oh yeah, I did see that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's actually um, a, a baseball card where the back description of Shane Bieber is Justin Bieber, and it's a it's a valuable card. I would believe because it because of the misprint. Error. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like you know, insane. It's no judge rookie card. You, you, you know what's very a, popular right now. You know what's insane? Getting paid to drink beer. Getting paid to drink beer. The tens of cents. Who's doing that? Everyone. Everyone's getting paid to drink well, beer? Well, Charlie Little Mom pays you. Oh, that's in true. free beer. I do get paid. I get paid in free beer. Free beer and hot sauce. For, yeah, and hot sauce. <laughs> uh, closing thoughts? Yeah, I had some closing thoughts. Okay. Uh, hit, let hit, me hit figure out if I can remember them. That's right. We'll put them up on the list. Hey, he said slow, slow most step. Was that a list thing? I forget. He'll correct us. I don't know. Poutine put put a couple of comments in there. No burps. No burps. This episode. We need oh a, yeah, you're right. No by the way, we need episode. a. No, I think maybe you had one. Did I have one? Uh, I don't think but so. But we need a burp, me, we need a burp counter. Burp. Steph, write this down. Something a burp counter. Burp because counter. It, that's where we get the fringe. That's not. It's not a counter that counts from one to n. It's a, a counter like a like a deli counter or a, where you order burps or a duration of burps like this. This episode has 37 seconds of Yeah, burps. yeah. Here's all the burps, and we'll mark them. <sighs> you can skip right to them. You click on the little timestamp. You click right to you. you I, right I to know how to do that now, as of last just year. Burps. We'll just have a, a burp montage. This is like a, um, fast and fast. This is like just yeah. what, 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 whatever's coming. You know, <laughs> Whatever you think of. Oral diarrhea. Say it. Yep. Uh, Use your mouth hole. What was my thought, my closing thought? I was trying to tell the answer. Remember? Did I distract you? What it, no, 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 you didn't. Um, nope. There's a. I don't uh, remember. Um, if I had more time and more eyes in my life, there is apparently a documentary out about oh. how Barney was evil. That's that sounds interesting to me. Yeah. I did. My little sister had everything Barney growing up. What I wanted to say was, um, I don't hold it against Wisconsin, but I watched um, Dahmer, and if that actor doesn't win all the awards, then it's a complete shame because he was amazing. And he was Quicksilver, like he, he oh, he's so got good such in range. that show, unbelievable. My wife and I, we just started watching it last Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. And we got 45 minutes into the first episode. I know what happens because I know the history of Dahmer. Well, yeah, we yeah. We're we're at the point where the um the boyfriend or the 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 other actor in the first episode is brought back by the cops. Uh-huh. And I think this is the one and that's where Stacy's like no more. That's the one where um they just said it was a lovers quarrel and they return him to Listen, him and he kills him. Keep watching, please. Um so anyways, uh, the unfortunate thing is my wife said not before bed and that's when we watched That's the, not that's when we watched By the way, oh, yeah. not it. That's not the the one. Okay, that's not the one. They so. do do they do cover that one. They they do it's But not the the one you're watching. 
it's, it's different. It's fucking egregious. So, anyways, yes, uh, my wife egregious. Lots my, of egregious. My so my, my wife said that that is not a show to watch before bed, and like the kids would come out of the room and we're pausing and everything. Yeah, yeah. So there's not a lot of other time that we overlap, but it's something I'm very interested in. I'm caught up with House of Dragon. Everything is good. TV is good. Yeah. Empty calories, much like beer. Mm. One. Oh, three doubled is 206, and that's today's episode, and I that's just true. saved it. That's it, 103. What, what happened on 103? No one knows. Dahmer's great. Watch it. Oh, man, so good. I have nothing else. That's it. Dahmer's great. Boom! <laughs> wow.